What's going on guys, Nick back again with another video. And today I'm gonna to be explaining why weighted calisthenics is so effective. So for those beginners out there, there's not much you're gonna be doing when you're adding weight. However, there are a few things that you can do and I'll explain why it still can benefit you even if you are a beginner. So in reality, why is adding weight to calisthenics so effective and how does it help us? Once you get pretty good with your basics, your push-ups, pull-ups, and dips, and you can start to add on weight, you're gonna to wanna to do that as soon as possible, even if it's just five to 10 pounds. What this does is it gets you used to that heavier added weight opposed to just your body weight. So not only will you break down more muscle fibers and get stronger overall with those movements, but when you take it off, you will feel light as a feather. So a good example and analogy I use to explain this to people is it's the same concept as a baseball player putting a donut on his bat it's an added weight to the bat, so when they start swinging it, it feels heavy. Then they take it off and they go to hit, and it feels light as a feather. It feels like their hands are a lot faster this way. So the same applies with our weighted vest. When we do our movements with the weighted vest on, then we take them off, it makes our body feel a lot lighter, allowing us to perform those movements cleaner, smoother, and more easily. So like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're a beginner, there's not much you're gonna be doing with added weight. The only thing I would suggest is maybe throwing on a weight vest for you to do some rings or things with your feet on the ground. So you can do body weight rows, body weight skull crushers, body weight curls, maybe some pipe push-ups, maybe some elevated push-ups. There's a bunch of different things you could do with the added weight on you that won't be entirely difficult. However, you really wanna to get to that intermediate level where you're able to do 10 plus pull-ups, 20 plus dips, and 20 plus push-ups so that you can start adding on 10 plus pounds and getting stronger with your basics. And on the other side, even if you're past the intermediate level and you're on that more advanced level, you could always add more weight to your weighted pull-ups, push-ups, and dips, or you could even start doing more advanced movements with adding weight. Like myself, I sometimes do weighted handstand push-ups, weighted 90 degree push-ups, weighted front levers, weighted back levers, weighted muscle ups. At that point, you can really start adding weight in every which way for every single movement once you're pretty advanced. And like I said before, you take that weight off, boom, you feel a lot lighter, the movements are gonna feel easier. Now, this doesn't mean start adding weight to every single movement, like you don't need to be doing tucked front levers with added weight. At that point, just do a harder progression until you can get that full movement. Once you have the full movement down, then I suggest start adding weight to get stronger with that complete movement. So moral of the story is if you can do a complete movement with good form for multiple reps, start adding weight. It'll only make you stronger with that movement and make you feel lighter when you take that weight off. If you guys like this video, you feel like you got something out of it, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Check me out on all other social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at core underscore calisthenics. Check out my website, corecalisthenics.com. I have every single workout I know in there and me explain the right way to perform it in under one to two minutes. Stay tuned for my videos every single Saturday at 12 p.m. noon Eastern time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.